Hey, what's going on, everybody? Christian Ballard, Ballard Sports Media, coming at you with a video today using StreamYard because I want to share an article out with you guys. But as you see by the title of the video, what is the ACC's hope? Seven teams to leave, including Clemson? And we thought the Pac-12 was diminishing. Here we are talking about Utah, Oregon, USC, UCLA to the Big Ten. And here we are talking about <clears throat> the Pac-12. What's going to happen to the Pac-12? What's going to happen to the West Coast? We're going to have four conferences. But an article put out, and I put it in the video description. You can go read it. SI.com on uh, College Football HQ Fan Nation. College football expansion update, seven more ACC teams now exploring options. And it includes the one and only Clemson Tigers. I want to share screen and we want to look at this article. Uh, this is from Fan Nation, of course, from James Parks, put out eight hours ago as I record this at 7.30 just about 7.30 Eastern time, uh, p.m. <clears throat> so, um, let's go ahead. Let, let's get to this. Seven current ACC members. Clemson, Florida State. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that. Here we go. Clemson, Florida State. North Carolina, Miami, NC State, Virginia, and Virginia Tech have met in private to determine how unbreakable the conference's current agreement really is. Man, you know what that says to me? Let me paraphrase. Based on what I'm hearing, these seven teams – that are current members of the ACC, got together and wanted to test the waters of the ACC to see how strong it would be or if it would survive without them. First off, let's focus in on Clemson and Florida State, the two teams that I think a lot of people can agree are going to race for the ACC title this season. Could they survive without those Blue Bloods? Could they survive without Florida State and Clemson? I thought Clemson a few years back, even though I know we had Wake Forest step up in 2020. But for the most part, is it Clemson what's been keeping the ACC alive in ways? I, I, I would think so. I would think so. Let me read you a list of teams that we have in the ACC. Um, and I think they're doing away with divisions this year. But let's look at, like, standings of last year, the last season, for, like, the Atlantic and the Coastal divisions. In the Atlantic, you have Clemson, Florida State, Syracuse, Louisville, NC State, Wake Forest, and Boston College. In the Coastal, you have UNC, North Carolina, of course, Pittsburgh, we call them Pitt, Duke, Georgia Tech, Miami, Virginia, and Virginia Tech. Right? 14 teams in the ACC. And now you want to lose, or they don't want to lose, but you're fixing to lose half of them. Literally. Half of the ACC is fixing to leave at least according to what we're reading and hearing, seven current ACC members, Clemson, Florida State, North Carolina, Miami, NC State, Virginia, and Virginia Tech. You will be left with Pitt, Duke, Georgia Tech. You will be left with Wake, Boston College, Syracuse, and Louisville. Am I forgetting anybody? Let me know in the comments. If this is true, 
that these members are going to dismantle and break away from the Atlantic Coastal Conference, the ACC. They could be in more trouble than the Big 12, or the Pac-12, I should say. The Pac-12 is like going nuts because you have rumors, you know, you're going to have USC and UCLA to the Big 10. You're going to have, um, I mean, looking at Washington and Oregon possibly leaving from what I've heard from multiple reports. And I've seen people like Mayhem Matthew make some videos. Not that I always take his word. Love you, buddy. <laughs> um, but I mean, seriously, you have the Pac-12 hanging on by a thread. Now you have seven teams counting Clemson. Which, uh, let's be honest, the ACC for the past five to six years has been nothing but down and garbage outside of Clemson. Miami recruits well, but can barely make a ball game. Maybe that'll change with crystal ball. We'll see. It's been so down. That the Coastal Division has been so up in the air and inconsistent forever. At least in the playoff era. I mean, it could be Pitt this year. It could be North Carolina. It could be Miami. What if Virginia wins it? You see what I mean? Like, you got a conference that has a division where it's literally up in the air every single year. Now, they got rid of divisions for this upcoming season in 2023. But, I I mean, think about the past couple seasons with the ACC. It's been so up in the air. It's Clemson and everybody else. I do like the fact that this upcoming season, Florida State, we hope and assume, will be competitive and good enough to give Clemson a run for their money. North Carolina, you could say the same thing. I think it's a trio in the ACC. Clemson, Florida State, North Carolina in the ACC this year. But for the majority of my lifetime, I had to wonder who's going to run the ACC. Even before Clemson started doing it, it was like, well, who's next? You have Florida State for a while with Jameis Winston and Jimbo Fisher as their head coach. Um, So, I don't know. I just figured I'd throw that part out there. We got to save the ACC, at least to some extent. Um, So... But there's like seven teams that are going to leave the ACC, at least what we're reading. And the ACC is on this cliff. And they're holding on with one hand. And it's like fingers are starting to slip and break away. And next thing you know, they're going to fall right off the cliff and vanish. I like the ACC. That's one of the conferences I look at and I say, you know, I hope some teams can step up this year and it never really happens outside of the coastal division. I hope someone can knock off Clemson. Well, I mean, you had it a couple years ago with Wake, but one time, one time, 2021. That's it. I mean, even in the COVID, the pandemic season, be careful what I say on here. Even during the pandemic season, it was Clemson and Notre Dame. <laughs> they got rid of divisions for one season. They said, we're going to peg the two best teams. And Notre Dame, since you uh, were doing conference only, um, why don't you come along? Just when it seemed like 
everything was going okay for the ACC. All of a sudden, this article comes out and this news breaks. And again, I read the article from SI.com, College Football HQ, Fan Nation, from James Parks, put up eight hours ago, earlier this afternoon. Early this morning, however you want to look at it. Um, The ACC contract. Let's read about that. Let's read about that. Put this up here for you guys. The deal these schools want out of gives ownership of media rights to the ACC in a deal with ESPN. The runs through 2036, if a school leaves, it would have to pay a gigantic exit fee that thought to be around $120 million to the league, which would also continue to own the TV rights for that school's home games. So what that's saying is... If they leave the ACC, they have to pay around $120 million to the ACC. And if they leave, the ACC owns media rights um, for home games. That's crazy. Does that mean that if like if Clemson goes to the AC the SEC, let's say if they go to the SEC, if Clemson does that, uh, which I don't know where they're gonna go or if they're gonna go or what, but let's say that they go to the SEC or even the Big Ten. I've heard rumors about them going to the Big Ten. Does that mean they're in a different conference, but because of a contract deal? Their games are still on the ACC network? How does that make any sense at all? This is crazy, man. Um, Expansion up to now. Recently, the SEC announced plans to add Texas and Oklahoma in the Big Ten to include USC and UCLA with all four schools. Making the move starting in 2024. Um, Of course, this year we had Houston, BYU, Cincinnati, and UCF to the Big Ten, or Big 12, I'm sorry. Um, Why do I keep mixing those two up? I always want to say Big Ten. Um, Here's the point, people. What is the hope for the ACC if, that's a big if, these teams go through and move on, especially if Clemson leaves? Clemson's been keeping the ACC alive. They're the ones getting to the playoffs. Clemson, Florida State, North Carolina, Miami, NC State, Virginia, and Virginia Tech. Outside of those last three, Clemson, Florida State, North Carolina, Miami, even though Miami is struggling, I just named you the blue chip ACC teams. They've met in private to determine how unbreakable the conference currently, uh, current agreement really is. They want to test the waters of the ACC as they want to do. They want to put, they want to put them on notice. They want to test the ACC and say, how strong are you really? How good is your deal? How good, uh, like, can you survive without us? That's at least what I'm getting from this article, and I could be wrong. I could be kind of crazy saying all this, but, I mean, I want to hear from you guys in the chat. Um, I think I'm going to premiere this video. If you're watching along, I appreciate it. Leave a thumbs up. Um, Subscribe if you're new. But I got to hear from you guys in the chat, like, What does this mean for the ACC, and what is their hope if these seven teams leave, including Clemson and Florida State, North Carolina, NC State, the teams I just mentioned, if they leave, 
The ACC <coughs> will have lost half of their conference. Okay? What do they do now? That's the big question we want answered. What are you going to do now if you're the ACC? We got to know. I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks so much for watching, taking time to listen. Be sure to leave a thumbs up on your way out. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. We're on the road to 1,000 subs. I really would appreciate it if we could get there quickly. Uh, we are fast approaching it. But uh, we got to keep growing, keep going, and uh, we'll get there. But I love you guys. Um, Again, I guess comment what your thoughts are on these teams possibly leaving the ACC and is the ACC going to survive? What is going to happen next? We got to know. Anyway, I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Put God first. God bless. And as always, from an Alabama fan, I'll say Roll Tide. Ballard Sports Media. Checking out. I love you guys. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.